YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy Gideon back again. I want to appreciate all my new subscribers. I've gotten 58 subscribers in the last 28 days. And that's all thanks to y'all. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Please share the video. Please help me get it up to a thousand. Once I get to a thousand, it is what it is. It'll grow how it grows, but I'm just trying to rush to a thousand. You feel me? I got the watched hours. I'm just trying to get the thousand. Now, with that said, today I'm going to talk to y'all about Trucker Path. Some of y'all know about it. Some of y'all OGs know about Trucker Path. Some of y'all newbies. This is mostly for rookies. Most of y'all don't know about this app. This is my go-to app. I hope I can get y'all to see this. On me. All right, so here's the phone. Open up Trucker Path. Dang, can't really see it too well. Too much sunlight. Well, even though you can't really see it, basically it allows you to see what points of interest are around you in your general vicinity. You can add places that you want included. It includes generic truck stops, which includes travel plazas and stuff like that. It includes pilot flying J's, TA's. It includes Love's Quick Trip slash Quick Star. But it'll also tell you where rest areas are. It'll also tell you where way stations are. It'll tell you where parking spaces are, like just regular truck parking. It will tell you where Walmart is. Walmart is going to tie in into another video I'm going to do a little later on. But it definitely tells you where that is. And that is a huge, huge plus. All right. Tells you what truck washes, scales. It's like, it sucks that I can't really show this. I need another type. I need some more streaming equipment where I can just show you what's on my phone. When I get to a thousand and I can get some money for the channel, I'm going to put the money into the channel and making better videos for y'all. But this app has been a godsend because not only does it tell you where the truck stops are, that's a good thing. You know, that's good enough on its own. It tells you how many spaces it has. And it also tells you if it's a lot of spaces available, some spaces available, or if it's full. All right. If it's full, some people get creative. When you're getting creative, make sure you don't pull in so close that you back another truck up where another truck can't get out. That's all I can say about that. But it'll tell you how many. Now, in my personal experience, when you go to a truck stop and you're like out in the middle of the night or whatever, after the main guys are shut down, you know, the solar power drivers are shut down. When you're going to a truck stop, what you want to do at that point, you want to find the places that have 200 or more spots. Like there's one place, um, White's Travel Plaza. It's a Petro over on I-81 exit 205 in Rafine, Virginia. Largest truck stop on the east. Let me see how big it is. This will tell me. Let's see. Rafine, Virginia. Yeah, you can also type in the city and state into Trucker Path and it'll go to it and you'll see the truck stops in the area. So if you're trying to go to this place, you type in this and you'll see exactly what truck stops are in the area. Rayfield, Virginia, it shows you the fuel price, shows you what amenities they have, showers, overnight parking, Wi-Fi, scales, ATM, tire care, pet friendly, laundry, transflow, bulk death. Um, it's a gym. I've never seen the gym there. Hmm. Fax scan. Um, how many parking spots is what I'm looking for? 725. 725 parking spots. Now, with that said, you're not going to find anything big on the East Coast. When I used to work at Metropolitan and I would come home, I would always stop there because, number one, it has a bunch of food. It's like a Papa John's, there's a Popeye's, there's a Subway, there's a Nathan's, and there's a Deli, there's a Burger King, there's a Wendy's across the street. 
And it's a pilot across the street as well. So it's plenty, plenty of places to choose to eat from. But it's also always a place to park. Now, I will say I hate that some of these idiot drivers keep making spaces in this place when there's plenty of parking. Plenty. I've never seen this place full. I've never, ever. I've come in at 1 o'clock in the morning full. I mean, empty. I've come in at 10 p.m. Okay. Anytime you come to this place, you'll find a place to park. Rayfield, Virginia, exit 205. How did I find it? Trucker path. And it always shows you how many spots. It's hard to tell here. But it's lots of spots, basically. That's two hours. It'll tell you. It'll give you a. If you go with Diamond membership, it'll also tell you, hey, this is predicted to be empty. This predicted to have some. It'll tell you a prediction of what parking is looking like. And it also go two hours ago and three hours ago or however long. Some will be like 15 minutes ago, lots of space, but it's always space there. Like period point blank, it's always space there. It's no need. It is no need to make a spot there. But oh yeah, you also have your iron skillet. Popeye's, Sunoco, Court, yeah, Quaker Steak and Lube. I forgot about that one, Wendy's. But it's plenty of space. How did I find this? Trucker Path. Trucker Path is the best app that a newbie can get. Even some of the vets. It also includes navigation. Yes, truck routing and navigation. You just have to set it up. You want to set it up. When I say set it up, I mean with the dimensions of your truck. Is your height 13.6, 13.7? Is it, you know, what's your weight? You plug these values in and it will route you appropriately to where you got to be. But anyway, this is just me giving a shout out to Trucker Path. I want to thank the good people at Trucker Path for providing such a great service. And with that said, check out Trucker Pass is available on Android and iOS. For those of you who, um, yeah, who, who who use that iOS stuff, uh, we, we don't do that here. We didn't do that here. No, nah. no, nah, just kidding. I got an iPhone too, but my primary will always be an Android because I love my freedom. <laughs> but let me not start the phone wars. I want to keep keep my channel positive, so I'm I'm gonna backtrack on that one. I'm gonna fall back. But please check out the app. It's worth it. Let me know what you think about Trucker Path. Drop your opinions and your um, experiences with Trucker Path in the comments. I want to see what my following has to say. My, my very small, meager following that's growing. But I want to see what my people's got to say. Because always the small followers that tend to be the most loyal. Because they will switch you when you had nothing. When you started from the bottom. Now we here. What? No, let, let, me get, let me turn on. Let me turn on a bit. But anyway, thank you all for checking me out. I'm about to get back on the road and head over here and make this pickup. All right. You all have a good night. Thank you for checking.